my ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian at group82university.com. I'd like to welcome all y'all to the live. Do you need help marketing your music? Purchase, enroll, enroll in our music marketing I'm in here, so there we go. Put the market, put the banner up here. You know, the internet's amazing, man. This is stuff we can do, you know. So I'm just get going. How many people come in here? It's cool. Appreciate all y'all coming in. Say what's up. It was good. Oh, and gosh, Ukraine was good. It was good. Y'all let me know where y'all from. Replay viewers is going on. LJ Rilla, working on myself every day. I have no place to speak bad on no one. Okay, cool. What's up, Miss Black Barbie? Was good. Still late night for me, but you know, appreciate all y'all, man, to be coming in, showing the love, no doubt, man. But how to market your music on social media? How to market your music online? How to promote your music on social media? How to promote your music online? You know, this is something that you have to know how to do. I don't care if you want to get signed. I don't care if you got people that are really close to you that really understand marketing. You need to understand marketing. If you are going into the music business, you got to understand marketing. It's, it's a part of it. You know, it's, it's like if you want to be a professional basketball player, you got to understand a little bit about nutrition and the body and how it works. Like you, you have to understand some. You don't have to be a scientist. You know, you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to be a kinesiologist, but you got to understand. Like, you know, I put this in me today. It might lead to X, Y, Z tomorrow, which means three months now. That could be X, Y, Z which could keep me out, which could cost me money. You know, when you are in the music, you have to understand marketing because, you know, you had to understand why people support you, why they buy your stuff, why they like you, you know, what makes them buy, what makes them don't. You got to really, really have a pulse on that. You got to understand how much this stuff costs. You got to understand how much this stuff is worth, you know. And so if you don't have the patience or the enthusiasm to learn marketing you you can't be in a music business you can't you can't unless you just don't care about owning anything yeah but still even then you know there's so many things that you have to do creatively marketing wise that if you don't understand marketing you don't stand a chance you have to understand this because record labels are no longer just going to pour you know millions of dollars into you and you're not a little white girl that's who's getting the millions of dollars poured into them off top. Billy Eilish and all them, like, you know, they're not doing it for black people no more. That that's not gonna happen. They don't have to. They let us figure. They let us choose who's gonna be dope, and they put the money on that person. But like from the beginning up, like, when's the last time a record label signed a rapper that had no following, zero, and he turned into like chart number one in in their system? It hasn't happened. It doesn't happen anymore. Doesn't happen anymore. All these dudes got some sort of buzz following something that's tangible from their own underground situation, whatever it was, whether it was their city, whether it was SoundCloud, whether it was, you know, it was mixtapes, whether whatever. Like the last person I can really remember who got signed and had nothing and became something is probably Big Sean. He's probably the last one. And I don't know if he got signed before J. Cole or not. I think he was after. No, he got signed before J. Cole. Never mind. Because he met Kanye during graduation run. That was 07. So it might be Cole. Cole might be the last one that got signed that had no buzz. Nobody knew who he was. Rot Nation legitimately signed him off of talent. Like, All right, we're going to build his whole career. And they put a lot of money behind him, bro. A lot. I know it don't seem like that because he had the mixtapes. He was doing all them shows. And from the time he got signed to when Sideline Story dropped, I know it doesn't seem like that. But they put a lot of money behind him. They were they bet a lot on Cole. It worked out, but they put a lot of money behind him. It wasn't his wasn't like really organic growth from the beginning. It became organic and more organic as he got, you know, a bigger fan base, ironically. 
But starting off, they had to they were rubbing sticks together. All of them pouring gasoline on the sticks while they're rubbing them. And, you know, the stick would get too much gas on. So they had to throw it out and get some like they were trying to start a fire. Quick, that's all they knew. And they're not doing that anymore. You have to have some sort of social proof online. You have to. You have to for two reasons. If you want to get signed, they're going to look at that because the more social proof you have online, the less money they got to put to put your name out there because you already got a fan base. Number two, if you're independent, the more social proof you have online, the more money you make to feed and survive. So you have to do it. You have to. You have to know how to market your music on social media. It's a non-negotiable or you won't be able to do this. You can't do this. It's impossible now. That whole street team shows built in fan base shit. Mm -mm. No one's going to a show lest they follow you on Instagram first. Think about what the fuck I just said. If they're not following you on IG, they're probably, ain't no probably, they're not going to your show. If you come to their city, they're not going to your show. So how the fuck are you going to get new fans? Because everybody who's at a show they're going to show us somebody who they follow on IG. Or they got dragged along. And if you got dragged along, is that who you want your fans to be? The drag alongs? Or do you want your fans to really know you? Which they can on social media. And they're ready to support you. Me and my brother are supposed to go half in your class and study together. Can't wait. Get your, get your money up. We got payment plans now, too. Just when I was ready to give up the YouTube community, show me what real love felt like this for you. Thank you. I'm nothing without you. Hey, man, appreciate that, bro. YouTube's dope, bro. You was a pain. You're right. I appreciate you, man. I'm not in a position to buy a course at the moment, but I've learned a bit from you. That's enough for me to step further than most. No doubt, man. Like, you you got to, bro. You got to know how to market. If you don't know how to market, you 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 can't rap. You can't do it. You can't, you can't be in the music business. You can't do it. You can't do it. Not the way the music business is structured right now. You can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. So that's why this is the first course that I offered. Because you, I know that's the foundation for a majority of my audience. So if y'all don't understand this, why are you here? Why do you follow me? Why do you watch the videos? Why? If you don't buy the course to get all that information to invest in your career, why are you here? Well, like, what am I? What are you doing? And I know for some of y'all, I'm, I'm entertainment. For some of y'all, I'm probably erotica. It is what it is. I get that. But for most of y'all, I'm education. But education only matters if you're going to apply it. So if you bought it, if you haven't bought the course, why are you here? Like, what are you doing? You're here to be educated. Educated for what? Speaking of paying for views, do you think it helps slightly? No, it doesn't help. It's the worst thing you can do to your social media. It's, it's, it's don't even, it fucks you up in so many ways. You can't even understand it until you start making social media content. It, it just completely fucks up a lot of shit. Don't do it. Don't. I did a show without having no followers, family. Okay. And so did you do an entire tour? Is that how you supporting your family? Did you make $100,000 off of that? No, you're not doing that today. And I don't care what year that was. I don't care how many shows it was. Today, no one's going to a show that's to follow you, period. Period. And they're following you somewhere, you know, because the easiest form of marketing, the moment people get a show, where do y'all post it? On social media. So somebody, the people that are showing up to your show saw it on social media. Even if you text them, call them, whatever, they saw it on social media. You know, you got to know how to market. If you don't know how to market, you, you can't do this, man. You can't. If you don't know how to market, you can't have a business at all. Because marketing isn't just, you know, putting money behind paid advertising. That shit can get expensive as fuck. 
fast. You know, and if you're getting a return, it's great, but it's still, you know, when they taking that money out of your account for the marketing, it's like, man, fuck. You know, you got to know how to get organic traffic to your shit that buys, that converts in the, in the revenue. You have to. You got to know how to do that. If you don't, you, your business is going to fail. going to fail. You know, Nike spent a lot of money on Jordan initially, building his brand and all that. But the organic marketing they got is when the NBA banned his shoe his rookie year. That was organic marketing. That shit is what made Jordans take off. Nike was going to have a good year, but that's what turned Jordans into Jordans. You know, the organic shit. The organic shit is what takes you. Exactly. How do you teach yourself how to market? I don't know if I so. Try YouTube ads for a week. My view, my music video shot up from 970 to 2300, but it wasn't no engaging on my vid. You know, can't do it for videos, man. What are some good looks of where, what are some good books to learn? I got a book list in my bio. Click that. You know. You know, y'all, y'all got to know how to do this. Y'all hit like, hit share, get some more people in here. But y'all got to know how to do this, man. If if you're not out here putting in money, investing your career, and you don't know how to permanently market, it's, it's, it's crazy. Look, like you're shooting yourself in the foot. You said you knew, you said you did a show with no followers. How'd you market? Online promo. You're proving my point, man. Prove my point. Whoever was following you went to the show. So no followers to you might mean you didn't have a thousand. Well, you just said you did online promo. Where the fuck else were they going to hear about the show? Especially they was there for you. Y'all don't even know what y'all doing. You know, you got to You're not a market, man. You're not a market. You're fucked. Period. He niggas that be saying they rap for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years and shit. They've been in the studio with such and such back in the day. And I, them the niggas you don't need to listen to. They didn't know how to market. Why do I listen to you? You don't know nothing. Man, I know more than hmm, you don't know shit. Because you knew shit, you you know, you'd be okay. Like they, they say it as it's like a, a stamp of approval. Like they take pride in the shit, you know. It's like, bro, you've been rapping for 20 years and you don't do it full time. You're not retired. You're not. That's not a stamp of approval. You were wasting fucking time. You wasted 20 years of your life on some bullshit. Why would I listen to you? You don't know nothing. Just like those of y'all that say y'all know this and know that. And then we click on your profile. You have nothing. Not listening to you neither. You don't know shit. Because if you really knew shit, it would show. There's so many things that goes on in entrepreneurship that if you're not doing it, you're not going to understand it. Because no classroom can teach you. Only experience. Entrepreneurship is all about experience. Classroom might prepare you and say, this might happen. But if you spend your time as an entrepreneur thinking, entrepreneur thinking about what a book tells you what might happen, as opposed to what your books tell you what might happen, you're fucked. You're fucked. I've only done Instagram, Facebook ads, so those are the ones I got. They got all the answers but no solutions. Them kind of people annoy the fuck at me because they're idiots and they're insecure. They don't know shit. And they can't admit that they don't know shit. Y'all hit like, y'all hit share. Get more people in here. Appreciate y'all. That's where we're at with this shit. That's what we got going. That's what we're doing. It's, you know, we're in the era of social proof. 
If somebody can't prove to you that they've done it, why are you listening to them talk? You know, one of the most ignorant things I've seen since I lost the class, I've lost, and I've seen a, a lot of ignorant shit, you know. But one of the most ignorant things I've seen was like, you know, people that can't do teach. I'm like, bro, that made sense in 1980 because you had people that were talking about the world of finance and they're a teacher in high school making $18,000 a year. Like, you don't know shit about finance, bro. So that, that made sense then. But now, who the hell is teaching you how to go number one on iTunes? Who has, you know, let, let's put it like this. That all the people in the world, who has the permission and the social proof to say, I can teach you how to go number one on iTunes? What do you think about that? You know, think about all the people in your mind who you know I probably went I, number one on iTunes, you know, and I'm going to just go go back and I'm going to say these two names and I'm not trying to come at them or nothing like that, but I just want us to understand, you know, J. Cole and Drake, okay? Both of them, I haven't checked, but I'm like 90,000% positive, 100% positive they went number one on iTunes at one point in their career. J. Cole and Drake can't tell you how to go number one on iTunes. They can't tell you. They don't know. They have no idea. Think about that. I have no idea. So they so they couldn't even tell you that. Because they weren't the ones that did it. They know what they did. What they did was write music and be in the right rooms, get the right relationships to get the right deal at the right time and at the right person. They had a lot of rights. But just them by themselves, with no machine at all, you can go number one on iTunes, nobody knew who you were. You didn't have Lil Wayne. You didn't have Jay-Z. You didn't. So there ain't that many people who are qualified to teach you how to go number one on iTunes that has the proof that they went number one on iTunes. So why the fuck would you not take advantage of that? King is me. They don't even understand their own formula. Just create no machine facts. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, that's that's a dream a lot of us want. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But they still don't know. The only people you should be learning from are those who are already successful. Read their mistakes as well. Listen to them. Not someone who claims to have all the knowledge and is, and is nowhere. They go number one on Billboard. Billboard's as rigged as it gets. Billboard's not a subjective chart. Billboard doesn't have the equal measurements for each album unit. Billboard's owned by the same people that own the radio stations and that own Vibe magazine and own magazine. Billboard is a magazine that's trying to sell subscriptions. That's like saying they go number one on Group 82's poll, on Group 82's chart. Dorian went number one over there. Niggas, Group 82's chart. Of course you're going to go number one. Billboard is invested in Drake's career. Billboards invest in J. Cole's career because they're owned by the labels. Of course, they're going to go number one. That chart's not objective. But you don't know that because you don't fucking study the music business. You just suck dick of rappers. How does some people can't see or think for themselves and with all the info need to understand that it's work one has to put in? That's what I'm talking about. This is shit that, gives, that qualifies me to talk about this shit, not nobody else. It's the reason why my class separates. iTunes is not owned by the same people, you dumb fuck. iTunes is owned by Apple. If Apple really wanted to be in a music business, they'd be in a much better position than Apple Music. iTunes charts is based strictly off of iTunes sales. That's it. Ain't no radio, ain't no syncs, ain't no... You don't even know the formula for Billboard. Tell me the formula for Billboard right now, since you know every fucking thing. Tell me the formula for Billboard right now. What's the percentages? You don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Dorian, how do you stop a free rap app from using my song? I don't know, brother. I'm not a lawyer, man. It's easier now to get your social medias or put your music out just by paying for promo till you feel like you have an organic audience for the promo Do you stop. You know, it, it makes a lot more sense just to make content. Paying for ads, you got to make content for the ads anyway. Got to. So you might as well make it free. And just put it out. You know? Because if your content's good and you're consistent, you know, the algorithm is going to reward you visually. 
if your content's good and you're consistent, the algorithm's going to reward you. Like last month, you know, the algorithm rewarded me. It was really pushing me on fucking YouTube. I know I'm not getting the same numbers I was last month, but I'm still doing good. But last month was just a, they rewarding me. I had some videos that took the fuck off. All right, here we go. You know? Uh... Real rap, no mumbo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, 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 mm. No need to homework a bit more precision. Go look at it and go look at how much the radio is still worth. Go look up how much terrestrial FM radio spins still matter to the billboard charts. It's fucking ridiculous. No one listens to the radio and no one calls in the radio like that anymore. So why is it still that heavily leaned towards where you're going to rank on the chart? Because they own the fucking radio stations. That's why. Lead teaching class, Dorian. Go to groupa2university.com, get the whole rundown. But how to chart number one on iTunes, how to get millions of streams, how to find your target audience, how to turn you know people that don't know you in, into buying customers, how to hire a team for free. You know, I, I teach all that shit, bro. Everything I've done, my YouTube strategy, my IG strategy, my live streaming strategy, my um, email strategy. All this shit that's made me money. All this shit that a real motherfucking entrepreneur is going to appreciate and won't. You know? That's what I do. You know, that's what I do. It ain't no crazy shit. Get to the facts. Stuff's going to make niggas some money. You know, stuff that actually works. Like shit that I actually do. Not shit I read about in a fucking magazine or some shit you, you know what i'm saying like niggas be niggas be cap <laughs> like it's like they'll they'll read some shit that somebody else did and then try to tell you that's what you need to do like bro you don't know shit like you you've never done anything you never made any money from this shit like you haven't done nothing bro you know like why would somebody fucking listen to you I mean, what's a hot artist you like to vibe to? You want to get vibes like yourself. It matters what I'm into. Do you do like a budget five ten dollars like it's worth to pay for ads? You don't need to be paying for no ads if you ain't got no content. That's like paying for t. That's like paying for a commercial to your clothing store and you ain't got no clothes in there. It don't make no sense. Not going to lie, you're the most consistent grind that emerged at the pandemic. Continue hustling, doing this shit as a number one grind. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. We're going to look up Billboard percent. Bro, got Google, man. Come on, my nigga. My friend told me he paid for his YouTube monetization through the net. Now he's making a lot of money on YouTube. I asked him why he paid for it. He said it's called working smart, not harder. Do you agree? Nope. Because the YouTube find out they're going to chop his shit. And they can chop that shit any given time. But that's some shit they would chop, too. For real. You know, it's dumb. Just play by the rules, dog. This thing just gave me 20,000 something. Y'all know what that is? Hey, Dorian, I'm a programmer, but I want to learn how to make beats. Do you know where I should start? I have a MacBook. MacBook GarageBand. You got GarageBand. You know, if you want to buy Logic, which is $200, great investment, get Logic. You got your MacBook. You know, get you. You don't need to. 
but I would if you're like a hands-on person, which I assume could say or a programmer, get you an MPC, right? Or get you a like an MPC and a MIDI keyboard, 25 key or something. It just hooked that motherfucker up. And now you got so many goddamn YouTube videos. All you got to do is the favorite favorite YouTube producer tutorial niggas that's doing Logic. Buy the same plugins they buy. Omnisphere and all that shit. You know, put your money into it and look at what they doing. I mean, you got niggas now that's showing you how to build beats from scratch and explaining it the whole time they doing it and what they using and why they doing it. Bro, it's it's. Producers got it fucking made now. If you want to be a producer and you ain't putting out heat consistently at this point and you've been doing it for a little bit, you just don't have the talent. That's all it is. Because you ain't even got to really be talented like that. Like, nigga, you can draw the notes and shit on. Like, you know, the plugins do so much shit. A lot of times it's just niggas just plugging in shit. Turning knobs and they get oh that's a good melody. Oh, I like these drums. Let me shoot. Let me add a reverb. Let me add that delay in there. Oh, let me let me EQ that boost up the high on that kick because it cuts right through side chain and bitches. Like man, fucking beats make themselves. Thoughts on independent touring. Do you think independent label artists like us need, need still need booking agents? Yeah, you do. Touring is not easy, man. So I ain't done it yet. Yeah, you can look up how much studio it is. Why we you packed? I'm gonna try something different. Hope we get some traction. No doubt. That's what I thought. Five dollars. Appreciate it, bro. No wasn't shit. Thanks. No doubt, man. That's all you gotta do. I mean, you got, you know, Curtis King got classes and shit. You know, uh, got Wavy Wayne showing you stuff. You got CJ Beat showing you stuff. Man, you got anything you want to know how to do, man, with Logic or Pro Tools or whatever. There's a YouTube video on it. Comments, niggas asking questions, getting shit answered now. Man, it's never been easier to make fucking music, dude. Never been easier to make music. Ever. And I'm just thinking about me, you know, how I haven't made music in a while. <clears throat> you know, because, you know, becoming a father and shit. <laughs> I mean, basically, it's what happens. <laughs> like, like I, I recorded after her, you know, but, you know, when you become a dad, man, you, you start looking at stuff a little different. You know, and I saying like I'm I'm still gonna be like making music always, but you know, the amount of time I wanted to dedicate towards that I need to dedicate towards things that was gonna make sure it was gonna that she's taken care of, you know, which is the money. What do you think about someone that's been rapping for 20 years, haven't gotten on yet? They don't know how to market. Doran, I found you my suggestions for watching Smart Rapper. Love your content. Question. You have 13 singles and three albums. Which route should a new artist take? Singles or albums first? Uh, <clears throat> you got 13 singles is one album. So I don't know. If you got three albums, he should probably have at least 30 songs minimum. You got that many songs, release them one by one. Just you know, I would right now. I would take this class and have the foundation, but I would release them one on one by one, and I would just fuck around on TikTok with them. Just you know, I would have a content strategy planned out for I would, each song. I would have a thirty day content strategy planned out, which I talk about inside my class. You know, and I would, in that thirty days, I would put that song in every single video. And, and I would do something with it, you know. And I do that TikTok, IG Reels, YouTube Shorts, you know, Twitter. And I'll just rotate. And every day, you know, I would post the same video on all four platforms that has something to do 
with the song and my content strategy that aligns with my brand and my identity. All that stuff I'll teach you how to find inside the class. So that's what I would do. That's the, that's the first thing that I would do. Develop my 30-day content strategy for each song. And that would give you such a way to promote your music for like an entire year. if I mean, longer. You know. You'll have a really good idea what people like and what they don't. <clears throat> I remember watching an interview about Blueface. They asked him, what's his contract? He gets in the label's name, Cash Money West, but didn't know about his publishing the Masters. Why would he know that? He don't need to know it because he just wanted to get on and get his advance. He don't need to know who owns his shit because it ain't him. So why does it matter? I'm trying to make it as a producer artist, but one always lacks when I focus on the other. But like you said, I make I can make money quicker by beats than I have. I mean, if you're going to make it as a, you can do both. You need the beats to rap. I mean, if you make the beat, that means you probably got a song in your head or some sort of something. You make 100 beats and you ain't got 20 songs, man. You're not an artist. You're a producer. Shit, not going to lie, though. I think about buying custom beats for cheaper remarks on YouTube. Hey, whatever. You own it. First time to your site. Shit looks clean. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. No doubt, man. Y'all need to do that. You know, you absolutely need to do that. You absolutely need to, you know, y'all producers, man, this, you could just flood the market. I mean, y'all could flood it. Absolutely flood it, you know. And now, since, like, you can pull up these song libraries on social media, all these instrumentals and shit, man, you can... <laughs> Like what I'm getting from YouTube, <laughs> I, I I can't even say that because y'all can get the YouTube money too. Like y'all can get YouTube money, y'all can get Instagram social media money, y'all get your beat store money, y'all get streaming money. You know, there's so many revenue streams that you can get. There's so many revenue streams that you can get, bro. It's crazy. Gonna wait till I see the reviews for I invest two case into a into a course. Whatever. It's your career, man. Like you want to keep waiting and bullshit that's on you. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know what the fuck else y'all niggas need to see. I got 700 fucking videos. What more do you need to see? If I've given you game in them videos where half of it is a clip of somebody else talking, I gotta stay on specific topics. What do you think I did when I got to design all the topics myself? And about how to make money in music. My whole channel is about how to make money in music. This whole class about how to make money in music. About things that I did. Fuck you waiting on. You're scared. Or you're broke. It's one of two. And we got payment programs. Payment plans. So. If you don't think that I'm going to give you some value. Once again. Why are you here? To see your side as well looks very thought out. Nice work. No doubt, man. Appreciate y'all. Don't even beat me, sis. I got a thousand tracks now. I know how to make beats, engineer, graphic design, all that. It's never know how to sell until I found you. Thank you, brother. By my heart. You know, don't thank me with words. You need to fucking do the actions. You need to upload all them shits. You upload every single one of you to tomorrow. You need to spend the next week uploading all a thousand beats. If you're if you're truly truly serious about this, if you're truly serious, I'm gonna put you put you back up. If you're truly serious about this, you're truly serious about changing your life. You're truly serious about making money for your music. You got a thousand beats on your computer right now. You need to start your YouTube channel, and you know how to do graphic design. You need to start your YouTube channel. You need to study what a good 
profile pick is. Doesn't take much to do that. You can buy the course. We'll talk about that a little bit. But, you know, it doesn't take much to figure that out, right? You need to go. You need to upload every single beat with a thumbnail, you need, with a title. You don't even need to understand tags and all that. Even though I've talked to you about tags, talked to you about TubeBuddy, talked to you about all that shit, right? I talk about the society class, and I've talked about the shit in, in, the, in the content out here. And if you're serious about this, you need to upload all 1,000 tracks by this time next week, which wouldn't take you long to do if you were really, truly serious. Because if each of those just make you a dollar a day, I'll tell you now, if each of those just make you 50 cents a day, which is like 100 views a day, 50 cents a day. That's $500 a day. That's $500 a day. That's $15,000 a month. What do you think the biggest artists who've been in the game for at least two, three years or more won't go independent when they have big names to the point where they can put out music and go up? Because they got when you're independent, you got to do everything. You know, like it's like <clears throat> some of y'all have jobs, and you know your job inside out. You're very, very good at what you do at work, but there's no way you could have built that shit from scratch and continue to just do it on your own. No way, no way. You could do your job on your own. You could do other people's jobs. And you know the behind the scenes of how all that works, but you know the permits for the building, the insurance for the building, dealing with payroll, dealing with HR, dealing with legal. De Why would you not saying you couldn't do the sales, the marketing, the execution, but all the other shit? You know, that's a lot. When you're an independent artist, you got to deal with everything. When you're signed, you have a job and you're inside the system. And what they tell you to do, that's what you do. When you do an independent, everything is on you. Them niggas don't know how to plan a fucking tour. The label plans that shit. They go up to the label and say, I want to do this festival. I want to do this. I want to set that up. And they got a whole fucking tour support team that handles that shit. When you are on a label, you are the tour support team. Which truck do you get? Which speakers travel well? How do we protect them from condensation? What if the stage is fucked up? How do we have the backup wires? How much does it cost to transport this shit? Where do we keep it? Do they need a separate room? How do we protect that room? How do we know? Shit that tour supports and labels already know. And you got to figure all that shit out with your money. That's why them niggas don't go independent. They don't know what they're doing. We're going to stop trading course. Take me longer than I thought. How long did it take creating a perfect outline? Topics for your course. How, did you script everything out? Ain't nothing perfect for me. I just put the shit out. You know, <clears throat> um, I had a good idea for how I wanted to, to structure the course. Six games, four quarters, 24 sections. Coach Clark, all that stuff. I filmed videos every day, so I knew I wanted to do that. I had a video editing team. So it was just a matter of me simplifying the information to make sure that it, people were getting the meat of everything. So, you know. To write the curriculum, it the outline, it probably took a week. I have a 10 track project I'm gonna drop next month. I made another 10 songs at a time and waiting to release it. But it makes sense to drop an album every month. Yeah, you can promote the singles in the, independently too. Is tour support outsourceable? I would think so, but you know, tour support isn't like some heavy um It's not a heavy. Traffic industry. It's only a select few people that need tour support. Like, you know, 99% of people in here will never need it, will never headline their own tour. You know what I mean? So it's like the people who need it usually work at the labels. So I think if I got a chance to promote. Dorian's tour or 
this dude who works at the label that also has J. Cole and Drake. I'm going to do the, you know, business. It makes more business sense to work with the labels. How long is it? It's six years of marketing lessons to put in a six weeks. So it's a six week course, but, you know, we've had people finish it in four days. You know, it's, it's up to you. You know, it's, it's the information there. You go to the website, check it out. I said everything's in there. And we got a free mini course on the website, too. You can go and take the mini course for free. You know, those of y'all that don't know what you want to do, you can take the mini course right now for free. It's free. You get to see exactly what it's like. You get to see, you know, we put a page of the of the playbook in there so you can see what the playbook is, how the activities work. You get You get the whole snippet for free. You get a whole class, a whole lesson. A lesson with me, with everything. The actual lesson that's in the course, you get that for free. That's offered as well. You know, that's why I be telling y'all niggas, just click the link and see. It's up to you. It's your career, not mine. I'm fine. This isn't like, you know, I mean, I want this. This is going to be successful. But for me, this isn't like, you know, I got to have this, you know. Like, we kind of got to have it, but at the same time, it's like, nigga, I'm good. Y'all niggas ain't got shit. Nothing. Some of y'all supposed to be asleep because you got to get up in five hours and go to work. You know what I'm about to do? You know, all the way 100. I'm about to get off here. I'm about to uh, take my contacts out. Cut these lights out, whack it, and go to sleep. You know when I'm going to get up? When I'm done sleeping. Because I control my own destiny. Because I control my own life. Because nobody else controls this shit like I do. I made my money. It's what it is. Do you think your music might be dated soon? All music gets dated, quote unquote. But, you know, I got some stuff that'll always last. That's the way it sounds. You know, I don't think about that. I don't really give a fuck. It's not. Like, what am I supposed to do? Remake the old songs? Like, what the fuck you, yeah, you don't do nothing. Made them saw there like don't sleep. I made in 2016. It's five years ago. You know, I was 31 when I made that. You know, maybe 30. I was 31. And so, you know, it's what I'm supposed to do. Now I am gonna make more songs. You know, but right now just been complete business mode. How much time do you spend writing music a day? I don't spend any time really writing music. That's not a, you know, I never understood that. Like, bro, it doesn't take long to write a song. I don't understand that. So since it don't take long to write a song, especially if you were like, you know, in that groove. Why the fuck are you spending eight hours a day writing songs and ain't nothing coming out? That don't make no sense. You're not writing music. You bullshitting. Wake up when I'm done sleeping. People with clout who are not getting paid at the mindset of this clout can eventually get me paid. It's the same for artists who don't own masters because there ain't no way. Yeah, you know. Like it's, I don't understand it. I understand how niggas be writing music all day and they don't have thousands of songs. It doesn't even make any fucking sense. It's like somebody say, yeah, I worked out at the gym for eight hours. And they burn 30 calories. The fuck are you talking about? What? That all makes sense. Like, an hour in the gym, nigga, you're going to burn 300, 400 calories. If you at the gym eight hours a day, let's say 300 calories. You're in the gym eight hours a day. 
you know, you're going to take breaks and whatnot, but you're burning 2,000 calories a day. If you're burning 2,000 calories a day, I don't care who you are. You're going to see a difference in how you look. That's a lot of fucking calories to burn. It's like, how the fuck are y'all in the studio for eight hours and writing music for eight hours and ain't got no songs? That, it doesn't make any sense. What the fuck are you doing? Now I ain't saying the song got to be fully mixed and mastered, but goddamn, at a certain point, they do. How many ideas are y'all fucking around with? You're bullshitting. That's what you're doing. You're in the bullshitting. You're in there just each other off. That's all you're doing. That's all you know. It's good, Crystal. That's all y'all doing, man. It's whacking it. It's like, that's why niggas be saying, man, I, I work on music every day. It's like, then why the fuck ain't you putting out a song every day? Like me. Like I can tell y'all I film videos every day, and, and y'all will believe it. I don't. But I film videos like once every nine to ten days. If I film videos every fucking day, you know how many videos I'd have? Like, I tried doing that shit. It's too much. It's, it's too much. Too much. And I'll eventually get to the point where, you know, but. It's not even catch the flow state. Like, y'all niggas overthinking. If you're a creative person, you know, creativity is going to come out but in whatever you do. You guys be trying to convince yourself you're a musician because you ain't making no money from it. That's all y'all be doing. So, all right, I'm going to sleep. Love y'all. Not the pond. Y'all say true.